people were rallying behind the idea of going bold, something interesting that is ubiquitous, that everyone knows about, that's not in smite. They're some of the most iconic characters in history. It's like, did he take his hand? Did he not? Did you pan out to see the nuts of the round table? If anyone's going to take the mantle of God's 99 and 100. In his arcane form in this version, he's very much kind of like a battle mage. It's stronger on its initial cast. We might have to be flexible when we yeah. start testing this. Yeah. It's definitely King Arthur and Merlin. The challenge with creating a new character is that you want to provide something unique into the game. Back in the day, it was easier to say something like, oh, we don't have a basic attack assassin yet, let's, let's do that. Or we don't have a really long range mage, let's do that. That's a little harder to do nowadays. We would do a god like every month and it was just kind of like firing them out there, you know? I think now we take a little more time with that and we take a little bit more um, opportunity to make sure each god has their own personality and they're really interesting, not just from what we have on the lore side, but like what we think we can bring to the world of Smite with that god. We don't just say, oh, we gotta add Hera because she's cool and everybody wants her. We found that, oh, Hera can be a commander. She can have this pet that she directs that's big and strong and does these different things. And it's Hera. Smite has a unique benefit, but it's also a constraint in that we work with pre-existing characters. It's awesome because our players know this character before we even create it, before we even launch it, before they even see it. Merlin is eccentric. He's out there. Wise, mischievous. Arthur is aggressive, leading the charge. Chivalrous. He is the ultimate warrior. Uh, can we play that back one more time? Okay. Hey, Merlin. Huh. I thought your magic was something, but have you seen some of these gods? That was good. King Arthur and Merlin are the most pinnacle characters of fantasy. It makes our characters instantly resonate with certain types of players. But it also creates those difficult expectations and makes sure the character lives up to what it should look like and how it should feel and how it should act based on the lore. You kind of have to stick to what people know, but then try to find ways to make that fresh and interesting. They wanted, right off the bat, Arthur to be younger. Everyone pictures him as this older guy with a beard, just very wise. So making him into something like that and making him really impressive to kind of stand with the other gods was, was very interesting. Merlin was a little different. There was a lot of ways you can take him. Like, do you want him to be the old guy? Do you want him to do something younger and newer that audiences might resonate with? We wanted him to feel like the most regal mage we could put in the game. Should we have him be more agile? Should he have a cape? Should the cape be super flowy? Should the cape be super small? There's a lot of back and forth on all these questions. He's not old man in like piles and piles of robes. His power like actually overflows so much that like his, his mana actually becomes his clothing in a lot of ways. Some gods are super easy and super smooth. Some gods are, have a lot of technical hurdles. The work that we're doing for Merlin is a bit more complicated than our previous gods. A lot more involved, a lot more moving parts. As we started iterating on him and playing him more, we're like, yo, this would be really, really awesome to bring in. There's going to be a lot of characters in the future where we now can use this tech to introduce new flavor and things that we couldn't normally do before. Especially King Arthur was so animation heavy, more than we've ever done. The core thing was give him a lot of cool sword abilities. Give him a lot of cool slashes and charges and jabs and make sure that the ultimate feels like an ultimate level ability that Excalibur wielders would be able to use. I really like that it's super quick. Um, we might want to be a little bit faster though so that we get that initial hit. There's a hundred of us and it takes almost nearly a hundred of us to make one single god. There's so many departments involved. You have design, concept, you have effects, you have rigging, you have animation. Any of these could like have an issue that just halts production at any time. It's still a big achievement and every god has their own unique challenges and their own unique successes and failures. Working on their initial design and then finally getting it into the game in a play testable state and be like, wow, this is something that we've just had as an idea. It's just always astounding to see what we can create. And then finally from that point to the, the finished product, is just another leap of just amazing beauty. The 100th God coming to smite Merlin is gonna be awesome and let's wait no longer. Joining me to-, to Gods shouldn't him. be everything. You know, they, that's the, the nature of MOBA design and fighting game design and anything with a large roster. You make specific characters with specific play styles and art styles and goals. The entire roster combined will make sure you have a really wide audience. 
you're trying to deliver something to players that they're going to really like and have fun with, because that's what Smite is. It's a game. You want people to have fun. And when there's positive feedback, so it's really rewarding for us because we get to like, we get to like, yes, we tried to do this, we tried to make people happy, and then seeing people actually happy with what you did is incredibly rewarding. Whenever you talk to someone who plays a MOBA, they often remember when they started playing the game based on what character launched around that time. Oh, okay, I started playing like season two or something around Xing Chan, and people are like, oh, I'd, I've been around longer because I remember Bakasura. Realizing that now we have that story, a hundred different versions of it, based on any part of Smite's life cycle when you could have gotten in, more so even than a Smite developer, but as a player, it's a big achievement.